Nadia Suleiman's octuplets and her six previous children as one of the worst success rates of any fertility clinic in the country, according to federal records reviewed by the Los Angeles Times. Taxpayers are already footing part of the bill for a situation he helped create. Of course, I don't know that it was illegal for him to do that. Yeah. Suleiman receives $490 a month in food stamps. Isn't that nice, folks? And three of her first six children are disabled and receiving federal benefits. Moreover, Kaiser Permanente Hospital in suburban Bellflower has asked California's health plan for the poor to cover the cost for the eight premature infants in its care, according to multiple sources familiar with the case. Suleiman's publicist, oh, she has a publicist. She's on food stamps, but she can afford a publicist. Michael Furtney, obviously desperate for his own PR, and that's why he took this one, confirmed the information about the food stamps and federal supplemental security income, that's SSI, after two sources informed the Times of the benefits. Three sources told the Times that Kaiser has requested Medi-Cal reimbursement for care of the octuplets, which is estimated to run into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Fertney declined to confirm the Medi-Cal coverage and referred the question to Kaiser, which also declined comment. The disclosures came as information emerged about the doctor who provided Suleiman, a 33-year-old single mother, with the in vitro fertilizations that led to all 14 of her children. In an interview on NBC, she identified the clinic as West Coast IVF Clinic, which is one by one Michael Kamrava. One of federal records reviewed by the Times of the 61 procedures Kamrava conducted in 2006, the most recent data available, only five resulted in pregnancies. And only two of those resulted in births, and one of those births was Suleiman's twins. Dr. Mark Surrey, no doubt a competitor. We don't even know what his track record is. Another fertility specialist in Beverly Hills said, These are the worst numbers I've ever seen. This is absurdly low. But in Suleiman, Kamrava found a patient who got pregnant and gave birth every time. For seven years, Suleiman intended to get pregnant through artificial insemination and fertility drugs. When she finally tried in vitro fertilization at Kamrava's clinic, it worked the first time, and each time after that, Kamrava, 57, has been a proponent of placing newly created embryos in a capsule and cultivating them inside the vagina for a few days before transferring them to the uterus in hopes of achieving a pregnancy. More recently, he has promoted a little-use technique employing a camera to help place embryos in the lining of the uterus. In 2006, he and Suleiman appeared in a local television news segment about how the technique could boost the chances that embryos would take. And the story goes on and on and on. And I don't believe in reading these articles in their entirety on the air. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, this, in my opinion, is just another money-grubbing bitch. Somebody else who thinks she has the right to have all the children she likes. By the way, she does. Which is why we need to change the law regarding this. I mean, where do we draw the line? How many children should you be able to have? And and then why should we pay for this? Rather than paying for this, wouldn't it make sense for the child welfare folks to go into the home and just start plucking kids out of the home? Until Ms. Suleiman can uh, finally afford whatever number of children are there? Don't you consider it cruel treatment to uh, allow children to live in a home? Where mom can't afford to take care of the kids? I mean, these issues are visited during divorces, during child custody cases. Why would we allow someone to have 14 children at taxpayer expense? Why? Why?
Can anybody tell me why? Does this piss you off like it pisses me off? Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Now with fewer commercial breaks, fewer commercials, more phone calls. We do it all for you. Oh, no, that's McDonald's. Uh, we do the best we can with what we got. How about that? 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, I'm so glad you got this topic on the air today. Because a couple weeks ago you were talking about babies having babies, and I was furious. Um, basically, I think that you should have to have a permit to have kids. You need a license to drive. In my line of work, I need a license to work. There's a lot of contractors that need licenses. There's so many different things that you need to have a license for that we should have licenses for kids. If you can't afford it, you're not allowed. If you cannot have kids naturally, there must be something telling you that there's no reason for you to be having them anyways. Well, I, 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 you know, I love the idea, but unfortunately, uh, uh, it's considered a God-given right for those who believe in God. It's considered a God-given right for people to uh, have all the children they want. Well, I'm, I'm sick of my tax dollars paying for things that they don't need to be paying for, for one. I mean, I myself don't have kids. I love kids, but they're not for me. Um, kids don't like me till they're about five years old anyways. And that's when I like them better, too. They stop throwing up on you. <laughs> and uh, I understand the society that we live in it probably won't ever happen. But you've got other countries out there that throw babies away when they don't want them. You know, and here we are taking care. I mean, we got Babies being dropped off at hospitals, and that's okay? Excuse me? No, well, apparently some people think it is. Well, that's all I got to say. Do you still have a Take Me Out Dale Earnhardt style? We do. It is tasteless, but we do. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Adrian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? Doing okay. I, I love children. I have two of my own, but it, but I can afford them. Before I had them, I did the numbers. I went it over with my wife, and we can afford children. Let alone sixteen of them total. And it just pisses me off that we have this woman getting embryos implanted in herself. To have all these children, can't afford them, and it comes out of my pocket. Somebody pays, works for that money. Somebody needs to earn that money. And, yeah, that guy is me. And everybody else that has a job. I, I can't, couldn't disagree with you it, less. All right, can you, go ahead. I, I was turning it around. I said I couldn't disagree with you less, meaning I couldn't agree with you more. All right, yeah, take me out travel style with a $5 foot long to feed them. Okay, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Adam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Adam. I respect you a great deal, but you're wrong on this one, man. How so? Uh, your assumptions are wrong. You made the statement uh, that they make these kinds of decisions in 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 uh, court cases where families are getting divorced and stuff, right? They do. Right, and and you're right that if they're going to do that, then they would have to be consistent here. But the problem is they should not be doing that other thing either. Why not? 
Well, the government should not get involved in any way in what you do with your children, whether it's helping you or hindering you. So what happens, what happens when you have two parents splitting up? And one thinks that the children should live in uh, 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 Fresno, and the other thing the parents, the other parent thinks the kids should live in San Diego. What do you do then? Who decides? Those two, in, those two individuals decide. No, no, not the no, 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 no. They disagree. They're not compromising. They're not budging. They hate each other. They're divorcing, or they're divorced, or they were never married. Who decides? Well, it's certainly a big problem, but it's answer not a the question. The a, answer the, the question. The parents will have to decide. They don't. Well, uh, the kid's going to get hungry at some point, and they're going to have to figure it out. And if they if they're so stupid that they let the kid just sit there and die of starvation while they argue, well, then I'm glad their genes are. And you anyway. think, and you think that the government should not get involved if a child is being starved to death? No, I do not. Ever. Um, pretty much, no. I don't want the government telling me what I can do with my kids. Even in the extreme case that I'm going to do something harmful to my own children, that's my business and nobody What if else. you wanted to kill them? I'll, I'll go all the way with it, Tom. Yes, in fact. You're an idiot. Come on. Yeah, yeah, there's a law called murder. Ever hear of it? Okay, well, murder, when you talk about murder, there you go. There's already a law for murder. Well, there are now, also there? laws, there are also laws against mistreating your children. I don't think there should be. It should be legal to mistreat your children. Well, if you're talking about something that's going to violate another law, like murder or assault or something like that, then there's already another law for that. But when you're going to tell me how to raise my kids or what city to raise them in or how much to pay my ex-wife for them or blah, 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 now you're going too far. But, uh, well, I, I guess what, Adam? This is the reason libertarians will never be president. This is the reason Ron Paul will never be elected, ever. Well, I, I'm not a libertarian, but that's okay. But uh, you, you, you're probably a Ron Paul supporter. Uh, no, that's not. That's actually not true. Um, Adolf Hitler. Uh, no, I'm. I'm what I would call myself as a believer in freedom. Okay. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Jessica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I just wanted to comment and say if she's able to actually afford the in vitro fertilization, why can't she afford to take care of these kids? Well, my guess is that uh, she either didn't pay for the in vitro fertilization... Uh, and the guy was looking for publicity or some such, or he did it as a charity uh, venture. Uh, but or maybe the, maybe the parents kicked it. Well, it's not eight times, it was two times. Okay. I mean, you don't I, have to do it eight I times. Know. She had eight kids at one time. She didn't have it eight times. Okay. Well, either way, it's very expensive. So, I mean, like, if she can't, I mean, like, okay, then let's change this, that thing. If she can't afford the in vitro fertilization, then obviously she can't afford the kids. Well, she has the kids. Now what? That now we have to suffer. Why should we? I I don't think we should. Me neither. I think it's completely wrong of her to have done this to the American city. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Penny. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. How you doing? You know, earlier today on one of the AM stations, I won't mention their name, but they had the nanny service that she's used for her other six children for the last year or two. It was saying how they're going to offer free services for a year and that the public should step up and help her so she can go back and get her master's degree. And I was so angry. Who was supposed to help her? We're supposed to help her. I have my two children. If I want to go back to school, I need to pay for it myself and take care of my kids. You know, not in a mi not in a million years would I Can continue. You imagine? Not in a million billion years. No. No, and it's also neglect. How can you take care of fourteen kids? They should take those children away, just like an abusive home, because there's no way that she has any time for those fourteen kids. It's ridiculous. I agree with you. Thank you, Tom. Blow me up. Here Let's you go, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred. 
One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Keith on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello. Tom, it's a real pleasure to talk with you. I just wanted to say real quickly, I'm a 23-year-old college graduate. I bust my ass about 12 to 14 hours every single day, and this infuriates me. It's the pussy whip media. They point to uh, they, they point to the doctor. They try to blame the doctor. It's not the doctor who made this decision. He's just doing what you know the competitors would do anyway. But this chick, she's a quote unquote college educated chick, you know, and she's nutty. All chicks are this nutty. They're all nutty. They're all attention whores. As, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, this is a bailout. This is a bailout because she's asked and she needs assistance. And you know what? They should put regulations and restrictions on what she can and can't spend her money on. It's so infuriating. Tom, could you please take me out, Lacey Peterson style? I can. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Stephanie on the Tom Like You Show. Hello. Hi Tom. How are you? Great. Cool. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. Long My... time listener, first time caller. Yes, I am. My boyfriend loves you. Um, I was just calling basically to say I don't feel she should have that many kids because I have two of my own and it's really hard as it is. I work all day long. I barely have enough time, you know, to come home, check homework, do homework, spend quality time with them, read to my kids. And I just don't see how she could do it with six kids with three being disabled. And then on top of that, she went and had eight more. Come on now. I know. But personally, she's sick in her head. I don't understand how she could have a college degree and she's so this and so that. That's not, she's not thinking of her kids at all. Not I'm sure, at all. She, I'm sure um, she couldn't care less. She could care less, exactly. As you said the other day, um, if a, a person, a woman had eight cats or 14 cats, someone would obviously call and report her and it would make her get rid of the cats. Well, what is she doing with 14 kids? That's a very good question. And then on top of that, we have to work and pay for it. We should step up and help her out. Um, I'm sorry, but nobody helps me out with my kids. Nobody helps me out with my bills, you know? Yep, so. I, I, I agree with you. I do not understand. And I do not understand people be offering her book deals and movie deals. And, and by the way, if she's getting book deals and movie deals, if she has a publicist, why does she get food stamps? Exactly. How many people with a publicist uh, get food stamps? None that I know. And then she stays with her parents. How is her parents supposed to support her and just be behind her 100%? And she has no partner to help her take care of the kids or anything. It's just, it's not, it's not reasonable. And she just, she, I guess she just wasn't thinking. Or at least not for the kids. And I mean, I'm one for... I'm not one for taking a child away from his mom or her mom, but in this case, I mean, there's not really there's not really a point for her to have the kids if she can't take care of them and be with them and still also work and provide for them. Good point, Stephanie. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Michael of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you this afternoon? Doing okay. Good. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I was listening to this story. I mean, obviously I've been following it in the news, you know, over the past, you know, weeks or so. And, uh, you know, I went, I, I have a daughter, and I went through four years, four or five years of infertility to have my daughter. And, you know, that was like fifty or $60,000 to have just one child. Uh, you know, if she, and if she can afford to spend that kind of money, uh, she ought to be able to put her own bills. Just coming to me as the taxpayer, it just, I mean, it just fries me. Why don't we do anything about this? I, you know, I think as, as a society, we just, we have a very short memory and a very high tolerance for abusive systems. I mean, it just, you, you look at us as Americans, we just very blindly go along and don't get, you know, we just don't take action. I mean, you look at our economic situation you don't see people revolting over that you know there's you know i think with that people ought to vote every incumbent in office 
you know, vote him out of office and make a statement with that and say, hey, you know what, you're running, you're running my my state, my city, my country. You're running it like crap, and I, you get out. And Good point. You know, and I think that uh, as 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 taxpayers, you know, we should be calling, you know, calling. I'm not even sure who, but we should be saying, you know what, I'm not going to allow my tax money to be used to raise somebody else's children if they can afford to go through in vitro fertilization. Unmarry, they they need to be able to to demonstrate that they can support those kids. If they can go through the in vitro, if they can go that expensive process to do that, then they ought to be able to put their own their own medical bills. I think you're right. I just it it just baffles me. And, and, and at her age, to have what fourteen kids now, I just to me is unconscionable. Good points all. Thank you so much for the call. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. Uh, we're talking about that uh, money grubbing bitch. He's got all the kids, fourteen of them now. Why do we allow this? Why? Let's say hello here to uh, Robert on the Tom Likas show. Yeah. Hey, hi, Tom. How you doing? First time caller, long time listener. Doing okay. Yeah, good. Glad to hear it. No, you know, I, my thing is this. I'm just kind of, uh, kind of. I seen the interview with her mom on TV last night. And is anybody not taking heed to what her mother is saying? I, you know, I, I, that that would be my first thought. Meaning what? What is, what is her mother saying? Because I didn't hear it. Oh, well, her mother's talking about, look, how, how, how fed up and tired she is of the kids, how she's staying at the house taking care of them. And so she's saying that nobody's listening to her because they showed pictures of the girl's house last night. And she's got, you know, three or four beds and a couple cribs in one room. And there's food all over the wall, dried up food, I guess, from what, you know, from what's being said. And they're saying that the mom is really calling out, saying, hey, is anybody not paying attention? Is society not hearing my 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 thoughts wow. about, my, about her own daughter? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. So I, yeah, it really is. I mean, in, in this economic times right now, as hard as it is, yeah, it is unbelievable. People should be having less kids, not more. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the thought of having more kids, this is, this is, that was a couple generations ago where you could afford to have 12 kids. You are right about that. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Griffin on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Big T, how's it going, buddy? It's going okay. Hey, you know what? Uh, all I have to say about this girl, she, she's just a silly cow. I cannot believe that she's gone, went ahead and did this. And, and you know, everybody's talking about her, her, her. What about these kids? What's going to happen to them? Who's going to take care of them? Because there's no way in hell she's going to take care of 14 kids as they should be taken care of. Well, I agree with you. And, uh, again, aren't there any laws? I, <laughs> yeah, everybody agrees. That's the thing here. Everybody agrees. I, and, and, and Tom, it, it's scary to think that, that the doctor was signed off on this. All of his staff signed off on this, and all of a sudden she she shows up with, with you know eight more kids. Where's the fail safe? Where's people saying, hey, you know what? Maybe we should uh, hold off on this. She has six already. Why are we giving her eight more? I want to know, but uh, what do they care? There's no law against it, apparently. Yeah, you know, over in China and Japan, they have laws against it. I think, you know, if, if, if it financially, if it makes sense, great. If it, if it doesn't make sense, no, we're putting a stop to it. It seems to work over there, but it doesn't work over here. I agree with you. Thank you for the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Good. Um, I'm a 17-year-old high school student. And I think it's ridiculous that she's allowed to have 14 kids. Um, the classes that I'm taking, I have six classes, and in over half of them, 
we've got about 10 kids standing. And I don't think that 14 kids is going to help the situation at all. I, I don't think it's going to help any situation. It's just going to help this woman get attention. And then, the, uh, of course, the ad agencies and the uh, uh, publicity companies and the film studios, uh, they'll just encourage her to, to continue to act uh, stupidly. Yeah, I, I think it's just absolutely ridiculous that she's allowed to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. Pissing me off, I can tell you that. It's Norma on the Tom Likas show. Let's say hello to Norma. Hi, Tom. Hi. You know I love you. Ooh. No, um, first of all, I just want to make a point. Um, has anybody ever thought to think about how many millions of dollars that it's costing to for the those kids right now? And um, Kaiser just asked for uh, Medi-Cal to reimburse them. And um, I, um, me and my husband get Kaiser through our jobs, and our premiums went up the beginning of this year. And I wonder why, because they had her in the hospital, and they were expecting this thing to happen. So as soon as we can, we're changing our insurance. Yeah, well, uh, by the way, on your behalf, they're asking uh, the taxpayers um, at, at Medi-Cal to pay for this. Uh, that's, that's exactly my point. I mean... We're paying for this. I mean, we, we're paying an extra, I don't know how much more a month for our insurance through our jobs. And this day just waltz in there saying, hey, I got these babies in me. Uh, take care of me. Uh, um, um, they don't even take some type of uh, psychic exam, anything. This lady is obviously cuckoo. She's crazy. And, uh, again, what about all the crazy people who helped her out? All of them should be put in the loony bin with her. By with the parents, I would say, enough is enough. These are not even my offspring. Nice knowing you. Oh, and she was saying she hopes the father gets involved one day. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, please. He's running as fast as he can. And where did she meet him? On uh, Craigslist? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> No, I love you, Tom. Blow me up. I'm Here so you sick go. of her. Of course, Norma. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, good afternoon, Father. Yes, good evening, good afternoon, even good morning. Thank you, thank you. Here's, here's my thoughts on this. I think the underlying problem with this with this woman or anyone that's looking for public assistance is that we as a society, reward the stupidity of, of any of our citizens. You have someone on welfare, they have another kid, they have a pay raise. This woman just incurred a 14-time multiple in what she was, or let's say an 8-time multiple in what she was making on a monthly basis from the, my pocket and your pocket alike. So I, here's my, I'll make it short and sweet. Everyone that has a problem with this woman having octuplets needs to write your congressman or your local senator, whoever it is, and needs to start reforming these free welfare, health, and services that we give away to not only this person but illegal immigrants, everyone else. And don't get me wrong, I'm far from racist, and if someone comes here from another country for a better life and works the system the correct way, props for them, because after all, we're all immigrants to the country. But the bottom line is, if you come here to feed off of my, you know, take a hike. That's my uh, Well, uh, thank you, and of course the T word, uh, as harmless as it is to me. Zero tolerance policy. We can't put that on the air. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Dave is about to ask what I consider to be a rhetorical question. Go right ahead, Dave. Hey, Dave, how's it going, Tom? Great. I, I, I just want to. Want, I, I want to find out one thing. I wonder if she was paid for these uh, implants for for that to be implanted. And, you know, and if so, she declared that when uh, when she was reapplying for her food stamps and when she's going to reapply for her food stamps. Then I'd like to find out how many of these, uh, you know, companies are going to go out there and try and advertise and make her a millionaire for what we're going to end up by paying higher taxes for. And maybe we can get a boycott going for some of these companies that are going to turn around and really uh, take us all to the cleaners off her stupidity. Good points, Dave. Thank you. Jeff on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Um, I... Honestly, my thoughts on this are pretty simple. Um, we have an adoption process where people have to be screened. They have to be cleared and okayed to have kids in their home. 
I think we should do it the same way. If you're going to have in vitro fertilization, you should be cleared, screened, and approved through the county, through the welfare system, and all that before you're allowed to have the process done. Well, I think you should. But unfortunately, the people of the United States uh, just refuse to do that. Although you would think that a story like this would make them see why we need something. Some type of screening process before anybody has that ability. And then based on their income, they should, I mean, I, they can't control how many kids are going to come out of the process. So we know this. But a screening process to make sure they're financially stable, um, in a good home. Um, self-sufficient before they are allowed to have this process. That's what needs to be put in place, and that would solve all these problems. Good points. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Randy. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. I'll take a break. I'll come back with somebody who claims to know somebody directly involved here. Let's take the break now and come back with her as we continue. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likes Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likes Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about that chick with 14 children. Now, you know, people call talk shows all the time. They're anonymous. They can be giving false names. They can also be giving false information. You never know when a caller calls in, whether they're telling the truth or not. The same applies to the next caller. We put the callers on the air, and we'll let you decide for yourself. But because this person is anonymous, take everything she says. With a grain of salt. Wendy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Wendy. I listen to you every day on the ride home. Thank you. So, my mother-in-law's best friends with Angela, this crazy, wacko, Nadia's mother. Really? Yes. Yeah, my husband's known Nadia his whole life. What is the deal on this chick? Uh, she she's crazy. Uh, I've only seen her once, but I I talked to her her mom. You know, uh, ever since she stole the money the first time to have the set of twins, her her uh, fifth pregnancy. And you are then, you are claiming what now? Well, you know she she uh, she she has a set of twins. That was her fifth her fifth uh, her fifth pregnancy that I know of. You know, that out of the six that are home. And uh, she stole money from her mom. She asked for a credit card to go get books for college, and she put twenty grand on a credit card and had the twins implanted. And that's when Angela said she had enough. She wasn't going to deal with it anymore. She couldn't believe this. And uh, she had sold one house and put money in a, in a bank account under the oldest child's uh, Social Security number, hiding it from uh, Nadia. And it bought a separate house so she could watch the kids during the day and get away from Nadia at night. And so they had two separate houses. Well, Nadia found out about that money and went and withdrew it from the bank because she's the mother. And that's where she got the money to implant these eight babies. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Now, how yeah. come you haven't called, like, TMZ or... Uh... Um, uh, uh, NBC or somebody like that with this information, if it's true. Well, the reason is it's because my husband and my mother-in-law would kill me, and they don't listen to your show. Ah. <laughs> oh, my husband's boy. not allowed to listen to your show, Tom. Only I listen to your show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the man in the relationship on that one. <laughs> boy, I can tell. Well, thank you for that, Wendy. Again, Wendy... Making some claims, take them with a grain of salt because she's an anonymous caller. <laughs> Just letting you know. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Randy on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Great. 
Hey, man, this, uh, I heard they gave her some money for that interview that, uh, from, uh, whatever, the morning show. How much did they give her for, uh, money? I don't know. Why don't the government take that money that they gave her for doing that, that interview and put it back into our system instead of us paying for it out of our tax money? You know what I mean? That's what I agree. That's, that's, that was very outrageous of them to give her that, whatever they gave I don't her. think if she get a single food stamp. I know. Or, or you know welfare what? payments or anything until until them. every penny uh, is paid for that you are taking out of the public till. Yes, that, that, I mean, I'm so upset with this, Tom. This is not even funny to people. This is people's livelihood. This is every day we go get up and go to work trying to make us better, and we got to pay out to this lady and her kids. Oh, that's not. No way, Tom. I agree with you, man. So if you could take me out uh, old school. I appreciate that. I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Say hello here to Wesley on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello. Hello, Dan. How you doing? Doing okay, son. I've been listening to you for the longest, man. You're the best. Thank you. Uh, I want to tell you, she gets $490 a month for a food stamp for our six kids she had previously. You know that, right? I heard about that. Yeah, uh, and uh, it, it, you know it's just it's just killing me. I I didn't know what was going on, but I I listen to you every day. But you're the best. Thank you. Can you take me out, Kobe? I <laughs> so. certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're beats in my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here's Mark on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? First time, long time. I'm doing great. Listen, I was wondering, uh, shouldn't uh, social service do something about this issue? Well, I would think so. And um, take some of the kids away. Where are they? Well, the uh, the you know the fourteen kids in one house. I mean, what's the ratio per home? <laughs> I don't know. It's I mean, a lot. All right, Tom. Well, thank you. Take care. Can you take me uh, Kobe out, Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beat in my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Anybody out there in favor of this chick with the 14 children? Anybody? I'd love to put them on the air. We're not keeping you off. In fact, we'd love to put you on. Nina, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. All right. It seems such a simple case. Obviously, those kids, all 14 of them, should be adopted out. And then the chick who gave birth to them should be prosecuted for the fraud and extortion. And her only life, line of, of defense would be insanity. Which one might be? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? Well, to me it's obvious, but uh, unfortunately uh, not to many other people. What, but again, what is amazing is the percentage of people who agree with you and me. Who yet, right. And yet this remains the law, that you can have as many kids as you want, no regard to whether you can afford them, uh, not that we'll give you money if you can't afford it. Right, but see, this is case of extortion, because she is, unless she's insane, she is extorting money from you and I and everybody else, and she's milking the system. And that should be punishable by law. But it's not. I'm sorry? I, I said, but it's not. one eight hundred five eight hundred. 800 tom that's our telephone number. George on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, George. Got a few questions for you. One is, uh, if you, if you, I don't know if you heard uh, about this lady's past, but she had uh, suicidal thoughts. Uh, even her own mother says that she's unstable, that she's crazy. But yeah, she's going to have all these kids, and she says that God will provide for her kids, and she'll go to school. I mean, is it just me, or is this lady uh, nuts, and and all she wanted is this public media attraction, and she's getting what she wants? Well, I say just let God handle it. Go right ahead. Yeah, man. 
I tell you what, man, and you know, it, and 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 for women like this to make me so mad that I give props to Kevin Federline. I, I, I gave props to him right out of the gate. Kevin Federline is a true hero. I, I, oh yeah, I agree with you, one hundred percent. And I love the fact that what he did. Very few men can do, and it's always the women that benefit and screw the men over. Yeah. Uh, can you take me over, uh, take me out of Kobe South, please? Yes, yes, I can, George. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number, Monique. On the Tom Like Your Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how are you? Great. Um, I was wondering, I had a question about a um, certain amount of, I think you had brought this up earlier about cats. Um, how is it that I think you're only allowed three to five dogs in the household per um, owner, and she's allowed 14 kids? That's a good question, and I'm not sure if that is L.A. County only. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure either, but I know... Um, like exactly like once there's more than a certain amount of animals it's considered animal abuse you know like right. the, I mean, animals are a lot easier to take care of than kids and you know i mean i don't know why she's allowed 14 of them and another thing um there was a radio a radio show host that actually agrees with her and that is saying props to this late this mother of 14 kids because she's um if she can milk the system or if she is going to get assistance, power to her, and um, some some nonsense that I want to call in on his show and um, fight that, but <laughs> wow, <laughs> it doesn't make I, any sense to me. Yes, don't make any sense to me either, Monique. Thank you so much for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.